All right, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and well, we're at the Long Beach Comic Expo, and I've got someone with me. Hi. Hi. Hey, it's this is none other than Sean Deloche. Hi, Sean. Hi, Flick. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. So, today, well, you brought LARP with you. I have brought LARP with me. LARP, tump, tip, tell all those Nerd Soapbox viewers out there what uh, what this LARP is about. So for you guys that don't know, like LARP is live action role play. Live, ac live action role play. Live action role playing. All right. So uh, our book, if I have to do the big Hollywood pitch, is basically Glee meets LARP. It's about yeah. Pete Ford, yeah. who is uh, went from being kind of like a schlubby, overweight, active young kid, who one day the puberty gods blessed him and he wakes up in a cool kid's body, basically. Oh, like me. Basically like you. I mean, because you... I don't want to talk about how attractive I am to you, but like it's it yeah, yeah. levels high. I've actually got yeah, you're blushing a little bit. But um, so basically, it, it happens right during a move. So he moves to this new town, right. and he finally gets a chance to be what he's always wanted to be a cool kid. Nice. But he also finds a LARP thing with all these like, awesome steampunk LARPers, and so he, he tries to live a dual life. So like his secret identity is being a nerd. Yeah. So he tries to live a dual life, and eventually, of course, he learns you got to be yourself. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it, it's a, it's a uh, YA comedy book that we did through Dark Horse. Nice. I can totally relate to that. Yeah, what? being nerdy and LARPing all around. Yeah. But also being in a cool, like, attractive yeah. guy's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. totally. I love it. I love it. I hear you. <laughs> have, you uh, have you, Sean, ever LARPed in public? In public? Um, only behind camera, like with acting, but, but, but not as much, not actually, not full LARPing. Um, we did a lot of research, we did a lot of books, we, we talked and we interviewed LARPers. Um, we played a little bit, but, but never as full on as I'd like to. But it, it, honestly, like the, the community of, LARP, of LARPers yeah. are such nice people, nice. they're so gracious, it's so much fun, and they just, their imaginations are mind-blowing. This is, this is, my job is to have oh, yeah. right things, and these guys are incredible. So like, it's a, it's a really, LARPing is a really cool thing, and it's, what's kind of great about it is that there's so many different types. There's like you know the medieval type, but like with us, we did steampunk. So our world's like a oh, steampunk. Oh, LARP. yeah, steampunk cool. LARP. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. Okay, so, well, you did uh, you did your own take on uh, Peter Pan. I did. Uh, we have the uh, the new adventures of Peter and Winnie. I'm just gonna hold things up and like. That's fine. I'm gonna do that. That's not gonna stop me. Um, the new adventures of Peter and Winnie, which is a modern day retelling of Peter Pan. It's a rom-com. It's done right. as uh, Peter and Wendy are basically in their late 20s in Neverland, Ohio. <laughs> and there's still magic. Tinkerbell's still there. We have mermaids. Oh. But uh, Peter doesn't want to grow up. He's a, he's a comic artist. Who does? I mean, come on. No one. Well, actually, in this instance, Wendy does. Oh, well, yeah. Peter doesn't want to grow up. He never wants to leave Neverland. He's a comic artist. He, he loves like his kind of slacker, frat boy life. But when he learn? No. He does LARP actually. If you watch season two, you're gonna see some. You're gonna see some role play dressing up. Crossover, right? <laughs> Love it. But uh, and, but Wendy does want to leave, and that's where a lot of the conflict comes in. Wendy wants to leave the small town, see the rest of the world, grow up, and that's where things get a little bit uh, rocky for them. Yeah. But always in a super fun way. Um, it, you know, season one's out. Season two, which just came out with it, started like Jim Beaver from Supernatural and Percy Jackson oh. from Mars. And I like Baja. Jim. Jim's great. Jim's a good guy. He's so nice. He's so fun to work with. Um, I'm a huge fan. It was that was a big nerd moment for me because I'm I'm a huge Supernatural fan. So to get to work with Jim was incredible. Oh, very cool. All right. So um, I think we have to talk in low tones about this next project. Yeah. Like this. Oh, like this. Hello. Hello. My name is Ted Knight. And, uh, uh, let's talk about the. Gods and Secrets. Gods and Secrets. Got any secrets to tell us about Gods and Secrets? Well, you're right. There, we can't say a whole lot just yet. All right. But, but I'm, uh, a, I'm a puppet. Who am I going to tell? <laughs> yeah. I, I know how puppets are in the communication, but they say everything to everyone. Telegraph, telephone, tell All the puppet. <laughs> yeah, I really... I love the whole um, Gods and Secrets is a dark superhero drama. All right that uh, we're doing with Adi Shankar, who did Judge Dredd, Lone Survivor, that Power Ranger deboot. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's producing and directing it. He's also and the other director is no, Stuart Yost, like, uh, who's known for a lot of music videos with the band Carmen. And um, 
we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, with, with Marvel and DC, like we can't compete with those guys. Like, they've got they've got these like giant budgets and these giant things. So we're really doing really hardcore story based. We have some amazing action scenes actually, but we've got we're trying to really keep it very grounded and story based. We're trying to go for like kind of a House of Cards serial true detective kind of feel with the show. House of Cards meets uh, superheroes. Basically, like we're going we're going for that kind of feel. There's there's a bit of a satire and a bit of a, a darkness to it. Okay. And um, you know we've got amazing actors in it. We've got Jane Seymour. We've got Diamond Dallas Page. We've got uh, Kellen Lutz, Jackson Rathbone, Eddie Cafegi. Um, it, it, Den Denise Richards, like almost like everyone that's in it has or nice. is, has yeah. has been a movie star, TV star. Like they're all they're all these big stars. And what's great is they're all doing because they love the project. Wow! And they're all they're all out here, and it's really becoming something really special. Very, oh, I I can't wait to see it. That's amazing. Okay, so I understand that you, you Sean, me Sean, and the crew, uh, or a couple other people, actually met with Stan Lee. Before oh, you started yeah. filming, we did to get some advice. We did. Stan Lee is actually a consultant on the project. Whoa! And that was—he's uh, like a cool grandpa, like the coolest. Yeah, like yeah, ever. He—he's he, a very cool grandpa. Like I am still wanting to get a paternity test, and hoping I'm related to him. So. <laughs> Good but luck. Like, yeah, I know. Thank yeah, because I'm his son. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. No, I see it now, though. Yeah. I do see it. I mean, look, you're sideways. Oh my God, Stan! What are you doing here? Yeah. What? Whoa. Where's yeah. move? Where's Stan? Go? Yeah, I like the sweaters and yeah. He um, Excelsior. For, for me, it was it was just a huge moment in my life. I mean, I, I wouldn't be doing what I was doing if it wasn't for Stan. I mean, I've been reading his books since I was 11. Like, so to meet him, not just as a fan, but from a professional standpoint. Oh yeah. To be me, me meeting him to work on something that I created was amazing, and he's. Mind blowing. Really, it was. It, it, and he, he is. He's so nice. Like he is. He's incredibly humble for someone that's created a, a legacy that will probably be around forever. So then, why did the uh, why did the why did the meeting uh, turn into an arm wrestling contest? Stan, um, while he's a super kind man, he's also incredibly aggressive and competitive. And so he was like, really? he's like, I'm gonna throw it down right now. I was like, so Stan, arm wrestle. We arm wrestled. Wow. And he got, I thought I was winning, and then his veins got kind of green, I, I his eyes glowed a little, and he just slammed my hand down. Damn. And he goes, Stan win! And I go, yes sir, Stan win. And then he took a nap, and it was fine, it was great. So like, it was great. That's funny, I like that. Alright, so, when will God's and Secrets air? God's Secrets, we're looking for a uh, fall 2016 release. Okay. And will all the episodes drop at once? Uh, we haven't decided on distribution yet. Okay. Um, so that 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 is still to be determined. All right, all right. Okay, and so like if we wanted to see your work, uh, let's see, Peter and Wendy and LARP and the upcoming uh, Gods and Secrets. Do you have a fan uh, like a some sort of a website or a something you can keep in touch with your fans? The best way to keep in touch with me as a fan is to go to my Twitter. Okay. That's where I try to post links there and everything like that. And that's at Sean is right. Uh, S H A W N I S right W R I T E. Oh, it's super okay. clever. A lot of people like are really impressed by it. So it's a thing. Yep. What's wrong uh, is right. Exactly. Sean is right is also my my website, okay. which I probably should update at some point. Um, like, I'm like yeah. Yeah, I should, I should update at some point. But uh, you know, LARP you can get on Amazon.com or most comic book nice. stores. Peter and Wendy, you can go to peterandwendy.com or go to YouTube and just type in the new adventures of Peter and Wendy. Okay. And uh, Gods and Secrets, we, we'll make a big announcement soon that should be in all the trades when we know exactly where it's going to land. All right, all right. Well, I uh, really appreciate you talking thank to you. us today. Thank you, thank you for your time. Yeah, appreciate thank you. It. Yeah, and I, I totally, like, you know, LARP, yeah, I, I, I relate to that. Yeah, that book, that sounds really good. Thank you. Yeah. Please, I mean, pick, pick it up. Yeah. Well, it looks a little heavy. Is that like more than one volume? But you lift. I can tell you lift. Look at that. Um, yeah, this is actually volume one. Volume two will be out in August. All right. Very good. This has been Flick for the Nerd Soapbox. Yep. With Sean. Yeah. Hi, guys. All right. Bye -bye.
Hi, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and welcome to our first annual uh, Nerd Soapbox Celebrity Panel. Yes, so uh, we've got microphones on uh, either side of the room here for uh, questions, and we'll be starting. Uh, go ahead and line up there. Uh, uh, questions, anybody? Hello? 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 Anyone? That's it, I'm out of here. <laughs>